I think it actually starts even before it tells us that it is. Yeah, it is starting. for 2022 with yes. Team Fortress. That's Bloss, Bugs, and myself, Buttercup. together reflecting on what our year has been and we want to just engage with you and really just find out what are your expectations mm -hmm. of 2022 as well um, you know you have to have a, a vision you have to have an idea of what you want to um, achieve or what do you want your year to be and you have mm -hmm. the capability to see that come through so ladies what are your expectations for 2022 who wants to go first? Thanks, God. I think, you know, just to say one of the words you use is vision. And I, I know that in this week, one of the rhapsody of reality yeah. is, was about vision. Mm -hmm. And when we say, what are your expectations for 2022? It's like saying, what do you envision? Yes, absolutely. What do you imagine that you can accomplish and what do you expect? Uh, that's, that's always in our minds. Absolutely. That's right. Literally, nothing that we do is without that thought of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, um, I think one of the questions we put on the platform what, is what are your expectations? But I think a lot of people might have different ideas of their expectations. Some yeah. people might have expectations of marriage. Yeah. Yes. Some might have expectations of having children in this year. Because, yeah. you know, people are pregnant, so people might be having kids in the, in, in the coming year. We also know that people might have expectations for their businesses. They might have expectations for their jobs. Yeah. They might have expectations for their studies because we have uh, students who might be studying and things like that. So they might be um, expecting things within and accomplishments within their field. Yeah. But I think for us, when we discuss this, and it isn't meaning that it isn't the same thing, but our vision is usually kingdom-driven. Yeah, that. absolutely. That's right. Um, you know, I just want to touch on that to say this three days that have been set aside for the fasting yeah. what you see you've got to see it mm -hmm. and to help us to see it you can also write it down yeah just like Habakkuk said write the vision yeah. make it clear make it plain and, 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 run it. It. and, and, run and it. Habakkuk had had a tablet we have our, our smart device <laughs> so we can really write <laughs> it down <laughs> on your tablet you know on your smart device and you can run with it anywhere. You know, I, I imagine having to trying to carry this huge tablet with with a, with this heaviness, and it's quite tiresome. It's quite difficult to run around with with a stone tablet. But today, you can just write down your vision and, and you have it access anywhere. So yeah. I think the word of God does say to us that. Um, that expectation will not be cut off. Yeah. So if we don't have an expectation, then you know you're actually selling yourself short. Yeah. Absolutely. Has, uh, person in the kingdom of God, he has already put in your heart everything and he's a big God. He cannot be limited. Amen. Yeah. So we want to encourage you today. If there's still time, you know, if you haven't spent enough time thinking about this or you just think, okay, no, I want a job or I want whatever. We're encouraging you. Think big. Yeah. Have big Amen. expectations. Yeah. So have big expectations. You know, um, just to bring into some analogy of expectations, um, medically or even as a parent, you have expectations for your child's growth. Yeah. So right. the baby is born, you expect the baby.
accept. Yeah, that's right. We accept that growth. We expect that milestone to be, uh, milestone to be um, achieved with that baby, even if it's walking. Yeah. Some people will say, "Well, my baby hasn't been walking." Yeah. You know why? Because you expected him in that age right. to walk. Or yeah. Even my baby hasn't spoken yet. It's those things that we're talking about. The expectation is inherent. Yeah. You know, it's not something new. We expect even um, a student. Now let's move into the next one. A student that goes from grade one, grade two, to grade twelve, we expect their level of thinking. It's your year. You have to have some expectation because you have to grow. You have to move forward. Your year today cannot be the same as the year before. That's yeah. right. Um, and the year that we're entering into cannot be the same as this year. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So you have to have that, um, even that desire. Yeah. You know, it builds into your expectation because now you desire that. You desire that achievement, that goal. Um, you know, even if it's an expectation within something that has been stagnating. Mm, that's right. Twenty twenty. Down what your expectation is. Say yeah. like, you know, if it's about um my level of Thinking, ah, okay, I, I accept this. It's like somebody in four years you expect to graduate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. So I'm in your new the spot. Year, yes. And then also put put levels for yourself, put mm -hmm. goals for yourself. Yeah. And put different goals at different levels for your expectations. So by the first month, by the second month, what must I be doing? Yeah, that's right. Where must I be? You know? Yeah. Um and also in your expectations, look at the will of God. Amen. Oh, that's, 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 yeah. 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 that's so important. I, I want to just expand on that because I think there comes a time in your life where you realize the vision that you set has to be aligned to what the world is. That's right. For example, if someone is preparing to be married in 2022, what is your vision for your marriage? Is it for oh, yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I want to get married because oh, wow. I want to look good that in a white dress. Yes. I want to look good <laughs> at the most beautiful venue in the world. Or are you getting married with the vision that Perfect. this marriage is taking my kingdom purpose to uh, the next level? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. it's fear. Like what's driving that? Absolutely. Is it fear yeah. of like, oh my gosh, I have no Absolutely. time left. Or, oh my gosh, everyone else is married. And you know, I also think of it this way. We desire so much of God. We want, we want, we want. But when we get our blessing, what is in it for God? So when wow. you really are saying, I'm setting my blessings, or I want my expectations to be this, your business. I'm opening a business. What is it going to do for God? Is it going to expand my kingdom financiering? Why do you wow. want it? I think by the time that is so important and that's what our man of God, Pastor Chris, for sure. taught us this year. Mm. He's actually taught us to look that this is not the time now to be selfish. In fact, he said that's the, you know, that has what has gotten us. of Christ. It's all about preparing the church for the coming of the Messiah, for the Amen. Amen. So there's God's perfect will. As you seek his kingdom, as you seek him and put him first, he already knows the desires of your heart. So yeah. those other things, those other things that we, you know, sometimes feel like we have to spend all our time and all our prayer life asking for certain things. Yeah. He knows. There's nothing you can do to compel mm. God. Amen. He's already done everything for you. He's given you every good thing. Yeah. All he's asked us to do is be obedient mm -hmm. to the command, to the vision, to the purpose. And all these
my expectations. But I think these are such important yeah. things to Ground consider yeah. when we when we actually setting our expectations. I have a question to throw on the table for us today. So you know, setting expectations—that's like almost like it, it's it, it comes as a secondary as a secondary point. But what do we say, or how do we encourage someone who really just does not know how to vision? You know, they, they're sitting down and they think, okay, I've done this, I achieved that, but I really don't know what to have a vision for for the new year. Yeah. What do we say to or someone like that? Somebody who's been so disappointed. Yeah. Yes. Like, I don't know how to dream again, or yeah. I don't know how to know if this is a line. Well, failed before. To God's will. How do I move forward from here? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we also know that because of the lockdowns and restrictions, so many people would have been affected. Yeah. You know, in their finances, yeah. in their jobs, in their businesses, people Understand. have been affected. So yeah. how do we then start up by saying, expect more, yes. Yes. dream more, dream big, you know, you gotta dream like you've never dreamt before because sometimes it is difficult. So what do you have to say or how would we encourage people to dream and to start I think I would go first, first to the word. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. You know, it's, how do you say, it? it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit, says the Lord. Oh, come on. So, no matter what you've done before, or whatever did not work out, or did not reach the level that you expected at that time, your expectations for the new year cannot be tainted. Yeah. And you're tainted too by that experience. Right? Yeah. And it it never failed. It never it failed. failed. Never failed. Never failed. You know, to add on to that, the other um, the other key teaching that we had in this year was that you know why why has the world tried to stop the Christians from gathering? Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Yeah. And it's, it was such a str- such a strategic move from the enemy to try and stop mm. Christians from gathering and fellowshipping, yeah. and. You know, in the in our churches, we've heard a lot um, of teachings on this. Obviously, coming filtering down from from Pastor Chris, where we were taught that Christ is the head of all things for the church. Mm-hmm. One, Amen. And two, in the gathering of saints is where He commanded the blessing. Absolutely. Yeah. So, if you're wondering why you had expectations and they did. breaks it down on a month-to-month basis and I'm reminded yeah. of the month of visualization. Oh, oh yeah, man. come and, on. You know, one of the things that Amen. we we were taught, like simple practical things, I remember saying to my cell member, you know, there was a, a contract yeah. that he had lost and pastor ta- taught us, he So it's it's up to us, firstly, to have an expectation to yes. take Amen. what is being, um, you know, what God is doing through them. But yeah. it's about us and how we can receive. So I encouraged him to write down what he wants to see happen mm. and to say, right, when I'm in the house of God, as pastor is coming on stage, I'm receiving. Yeah. Amen. And Amen. praise be to God, the next, well, the Monday, by the Tuesday, he had not only dismayed and disillusioned Absolutely. it's practical but you have to make that choice to be found in the house of god Absolutely. i love that to receive all those practical teachings mm. yeah. um because you know it's it's like you were saying earlier you go from one level to another yeah Amen. but you won't 
go from grade one to the trick by not showing up. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> not doing Absolutely. And I think just to add on to the practicality, I think that it's so important to just, even when you spend time in prayer, regardless of how long you spend time in prayer, but just to have, you know, a notebook and a pen next to you, right. mm, yes. or your tablet or your phone, your note app open. And when you pray, you get into that zone and you really are saying, God, I'm here with the practical stuff, expecting you to speak. Absolutely. So what Whatever he speaks to your spirit in that time and however he ministers to you, you grab your device or you grab your pen and you write down the point. Right. You write down the story. You write down the idea. And that is sort of the starting point of how you will begin to build on the vision that he has for your life throughout the year as you spend time in prayer and in the word. It might not be, look, God speaks in different ways to different people. It might be that for one, he gets the whole vision in one sitting. Others, you're going to get glimpses that as you spend time, it's going to manifest into this incredibly massive Amen. vision. And when you stand on the year um, on the 31st of December, 2022, you're going to be like, what? God gave me that to do. And I did not the detail. But that's how God works. That is yeah. incredible. Just be obedient. Be open. Be ready Amen. to do and manifest how the Holy Spirit is going to work in you. Praise the Lord. I just want to... The word of God is very clear, and I want to bring up the scripture that she's referenced. It's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, um, and it says, Do not forsake the assembling of the saints, because even there, and then back to what you're saying about how does God speak to us, and a lot of people ask that question. It's like, how does he speak to you? You know, And even in the Old Testament, you might have um, like the prophets coming in, and some of them may not say that God spoke to them loudly. Like You hear a loud voice, like... Um, uh, Moses, you yeah. know, um, how God spoke to him and then there was a burning bush. Then um, with Elijah, he went and hid in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> and then the thunder and the lightning and all of this loud noise came, but it, God came to him as a whisper. Yeah. That's right. You know, and then people assemble, people assemble. So even in, in, in the in the time of in the Old Testament, they would they would gather all the people together yeah. and they will wait for the word of God to be spoken. So the assembling can also direct your vision because that's in right. the assembling of the saints, right. you will have prophecy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You will have interpretation of tongues taking yeah. place. Amen. That'll guide your vision. So God can, and I mean, God can even send angels to you to say, listen, um, this is what the word of God has said about you and what has, what God has spoken to you. But also they will even come and talk to you and tell you things that you did not know or prepare for to allow you to prepare, yeah. you yes. know, because he's, he's able to do that. He is God. Yeah. He's God right. of all things. Yeah. So we, you can't limit God and say, well, yeah. just because I haven't seen him. Um, I don't know how he'll speak to me. I mean, he speaks to us in the word of God as well. You open yeah. your Bible. You're reading the scripture. It is God telling you, I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Jesus. your vision you're thinking well god hasn't spoken to me yeah and, you know where am i going to hear his voice from because there's some people who actually think that It's the greatest gift. <laughs> and okay, we can access it yes you know one of the um speaking about big expectations okay one of the expectations that pastor chris had set out um in this year yeah you remember i uh, wanted to read five. 6.5 billion. I mean, Come that's a big on. number. I don't know how many people are in that. Yeah, that's a huge amount. And when we may have first heard that, mm. we might have thought, wow, wow. But, you know, the man of God gave us opportunities to be part of that. Yeah, by yeah, sponsoring sure. um, Love Will Set and all the new satellite stations mm. that were opened in various parts of the praise world. The Lord. Yeah. And praise the Lord. Um, was it at the healing streams? That the, the last that? healing streams, yes. Yeah. yeah. The Not last just healing stream, stream but was, was greater than six yeah. Yes, not Korea connected. It was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so if you're looking for a big expectation to be part of, yeah. you know, be part of those kind of expectations, and, and uh, you will 
actually but also realize let them your inspire purpose. You. Be inspired. Yeah. Absolutely. Be inspired by that because you yeah. know if we are able, and the word of God says, where the word of the king is, there is power. That's yeah. Right. So we are. Able at the IPPC, they'll actually say, um, I had an expectation. I wanted to do such and such and such for the kingdom of yeah. God. And you know, you might have an expectation that is, that is even different. You might be like, I'm going to feed people. Yes. Yeah. And, and you might not be the best cook. But let me tell you, when you when you have that desire, uh, the Holy Spirit transforms that into the Michelin. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Yes. 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 know how to set a vision but how important is your inner circle in driving oh, a vision? big big that is so huge. i think you come you come to the phase how important is that inner circle that is going to assist you drive with you be your voice of reason Mm. when you need that extra pick-me-upper on the day. You know, the Word of God is clear, and it says that bad counsel can corrupt. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, and a lot of people, you need to be careful who you go to counsel for. Oh, yeah. Where, right. You know, there are times where I can block off a lot of people, um, even people that, that would be right close to me, I can even block them out off. And I'm, I'm talking about even if it's in, within family, why? Yeah. Because when you have a matter, yeah. you know, when there is a matter, there's a matter. With. There's a matter. <laughs> you got to know how to block. And sometimes the Him counsel because yeah, he knew to leave your that if, house. if yeah. you had to be there with the people, you know, on the bottom of the mountain, they were doing their own thing. Yeah, they were busy doing their own thing. As soon as Moses went up that mountain, they started creating yeah. their own things. So you don't know what bad counsel can do. It can misdirect you. Yeah, it can lead you in a completely um, wrong direction. It can introduce those words to you called lack. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And not and enough. doubt. Yes. And doubt. Mm -hmm. It can introduce the words that are not aligned with the word of God because the word of God does not speak of lack. Mm -hmm. It speaks of prosperity. That's right. It, do, it does not speak of doubt. It speaks of faith. It, it speaks of renewing your mind right. daily to. so that you don't yeah. have to um, follow that norm that the world mm. follows. Those illegal words. Those illegal. illegal words. And your counsel, it matters there. Come you know, on. You have to, I think in the new year, well, we've learned how to narrow the circle and make the circle smaller. Yeah. I think I think a great a great phrase, you know, the world calls it the inner circle of friends, but